Okay, you're live. Hi, Mike Erlob here, CEO of Flex Physical Therapy, and I wanted to take the time to share with you um, a personal story uh, about myself. I, I call this my, my origin story. And um, <clears throat> I want to give you a little bit of the uh, backstory behind that. Um, you see, I, I had always been active in my life. And um, when I was in high school, I was a wrestler. Um, after high school, I joined the Army. I was on active duty for three years. Um, then when I went to college, I became a top-ranked competitive power lifter. So I'd always been athletic. I'd always been active. I'd always been working out. And uh, powerlifting was a sport that I just really completely took to. I absolutely loved it. And, um, you know, the thing about that sport that I loved is it allowed me to get as big and as strong as I wanted to. And the beauty about it was I could just eat. I could eat anything I wanted to. And boy, did I eat. Um, I just ate anything and everything. And the, the sad thing about that sport, though, as great as it was, as fun as it was to compete, is that, you know, it's not a question of, if you'll get hurt, it's a question of when. And, and I got hurt. And next thing I knew, I couldn't, I couldn't lift anymore. Um, I couldn't work out like I used to, um, but that sure didn't stop me on the eating. And uh, you know, I continued to eat. And you know, because I wasn't working out and because I wasn't watching my diet, um, I got really heavy. And um, you know, I really packed on the weight. I mean, at one point I was you know, 75 pounds uh, overweight. And um, you know, I knew I had to do something. So um, I started focusing on using a ketogenic diet. Um, I started using one of those ketogenic diets to drop the weight and boy, it worked beautifully. I mean, it took the weight right off. Um, so here I was, you know, I had lost 77 pounds on this ketogenic diet and, and I lost that in five months. And, um, you know, I was really busy at that time. So I'd lost the weight, but I was really busy running a physical therapy practice and I was really busy with my family life and trying to balance everything, you know, between the business and family and trying to stay on that diet. You know, it was really, it was really getting to be really hard to, to keep that weight off. You know, my, my wife and kids, they rare, during those time during that time, they rarely saw me when, uh, when I wasn't exhausted, I wasn't stressed out. Um, you know, it was from the demands of running the business, trying to stay on the diet, trying to kind of do everything. And I really wanted, it was really a deep desire. I really wanted to keep that weight off. You know, I worked really hard to lose those 77 pounds and, and I really, I didn't want to put that weight back on and I didn't want to go back to where I had come from. And this desire, this, this deep desire uh, in keeping the weight off, um, and not going back to being fat and unhealthy. I really wanted that, that lean, you know, to stay lean and have the energy for my wife and kids um, and to be the husband and the father that I knew that, that I could be for them. And so the thing is, is at that time, I was really struggling. I was really struggling to find, to find a sustainable way um, to keep that weight off. So I really, again, you know, I wanted to be lean. I wanted, I had the desire to look like I did back in my high school wrestling days, you know. Uh, I wanted to feel great. Um, I wanted, you know, the feeling, <laughs> the feeling when I finally could wear clothes off the rack, you know, when I didn't have to go to the big and tall store. I mean, that feeling was great. When I could just go into like Kohl's and, you know, buy a pair of pants that were 34 inch waist I mean, instead of a 42. I, I can't even tell you how good that felt. You know, that was absolutely, that was amazing. And, you know, I didn't want to give any of that up. You know, I wanted, I had created this new me and I wanted that to be permanent. But, you know, there was this internal struggle and this internal struggle with me to make things worse is I felt terrible and I felt terrible about myself. Um, you see, and this is, you know, this is hard to share, but uh, years ago, back in the day when, when I was in elementary and I was in junior high, um, I never felt like I fit in. You know, I never felt like I was part of anything. Um, and, and because of that, I, I suffered from low self-esteem, low self-confidence, um, and I was bullied. And it made me feel, you know, less than and that I wasn't good enough and that I was inferior to everybody else. And those feelings, when you get those, when you get those at a young age, 
those feelings continue with you into adulthood um, and, and they make you do things, you know. Uh, that's where that my drive to become big and strong and powerful and learn how to lift all these weights came from. But then when I couldn't have that anymore, I still had those feelings and I didn't like how I looked and I knew I was heavy and I knew I was unhealthy. Uh, and so I found a way to, to get that weight off. But now I couldn't, you know, trying to keep it off was, was becoming a struggle. And, you know, even after all of that, those feelings, you know, those deep down those deep down emotions, they don't go away. You know, I still had that feeling, even though I was successful in, in business and I had a successful career and, you know, I had lost this weight, I still had these feelings that, you know, that I wasn't good enough. And, you know, that, that not only that, but I was killing myself just trying to keep that weight off, trying to run everything. And, you know, between the stress of the business and the diet, I really, I wasn't a lot of fun to be around um, at that time in my life. Um, you know, I remember my wife telling me that, you know, she was just tired of me being crabby, um, you know, that I wasn't enjoyable. I wasn't the, the fun loving, the, the, the guy that she married, you know, I had become this, um, just this person that just, I didn't smile a lot. I was really crabby. I was unhappy and you know, it wasn't, I wasn't being a good father to my kids. Um, and this was, this was killing me inside. And it, 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 one day I just, I hit this wall, you see, um, you know, I knew that the problem, the issue was that the keto diet that I was on, um, I could take the weight off, but, and I could keep the weight down, but I was crabby, tired and exhausted. And I had this craving, it was really, really interesting because I, I developed this craving for sweets, and I, I before I never had a sweet tooth, but once I went on this uh, ketogenic diet, on this keto diet, um, after I took the weight off, this, this craving for sweets just came out of nowhere, and uh, you know that would that would often self sabotage myself because I would go and sneak and eat these treats, and I had these cravings, and I didn't know what to do about them, um, and I didn't know how to get rid of them, and, and just trying the the to say no, and you know, the self-control really, really wasn't working. Um, you know, I, I remember my daughter found me one time, middle of the night in the kitchen, spoonful of Jif peanut butter, just shoveling that down my mouth. I, I just had this craving I didn't, and I never had that before this ketogenic diet. And then I started having some physical issues. I started getting cramps in my legs. Um, my, my inner thigh would just seize up and cramp. And then I would get lightheaded and I would, I would stand up and I would just almost pass out. It was like it would, it would just collapse from being lightheaded. I was maintaining my water intake. I was doing everything right, but I knew something inside of me wasn't right. And then, and then it all happened. Um, I suffered two major tendon uh, tears or ruptures. Um, within two years of each other. First, I, I ruptured my left uh, Achilles tendon, um, had surgery on that, and then no more than one year later, I ruptured my right uh, biceps right at the elbow, and I ruptured that off, and they had to sew that back into place. And so I knew with, with what I was doing with my diet, trying to keep this weight off, it was taking a toll on me. It was taking a toll on me mentally, it was taking a toll on me physically, um, and both with my family and, and even with my business. Um, it just wasn't working. And then it was really funny because it was then as if by chance, there was this some, something that was absolutely amazing happened. So that's when I was introduced to the secret of intermittent fasting, uh, the use of yoga, high intensity interval training um, is a way to lose weight effectively and keep that weight off. So you see, at that time, I went to a conference. I went to a physical therapy conference, and um, these these concepts were being introduced to me. And uh, it was like this this light bulb went off. You know, um, at that same conference, my eyes were opened to the problem that we have with our current food industry. Um, you know, right now our food industry, through corporate greed they're not doing us any favors. I mean, the chemicals they're putting in the food, the preservatives, uh, the amount of sugar that they're hiding. Um, you know, I, when you go just to read the ingredients on, on what's being put into your food today, it's absolutely scary. And 
this is creating problems for people. I mean, it's creating hormonal imbalances. It's creating problems with their gut. It's creating problems um, all the way around. And I learned that, you know, this information is not public. I mean, it's not really, I mean, you can find it, but you got to look really hard. You know, it's, it's being hidden from us. And that just realized that, hey, the struggle that I was facing, that wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault that I had a lack of self-control for the sweets. That was because I was being lied to by our current diet and weight loss in industry. And so, you know, that's where I had this, this epiphany. It was this aha moment. I still remember that. I was, I was sitting in the conference and it was just like this, boom, this light bulb went off. And I, I knew that this was the piece that I was missing. Um, I learned how important it was um, to alkalize your diet. Um, how important that was for controlling the inflammation in the body. And when this inflammation is uncontrolled, it makes it really hard for your insulin levels to be correct. And it makes it really hard for your body just to burn fat and to keep that weight off. And I also learned how important, how important the mind, how important the mindset is in the weight loss process. Because, you know, I was just focusing on everything else. I was focusing on the mechanics of it. I wasn't focusing on what it truly means to, to be at peace and, and how important that is to have that peace and balance and that harmony within. You know, that it's the whole body. It's the whole body that has to be addressed. You know, it's the body. It's what you're putting in your mouth with your diet. It's your mind. It's your spirit. Everything has to be addressed. That was the key that I was looking for. That was the peace. So I still, I still remember this. I still remember coming back on the plane and I, I still get goosebumps when I think about it. I still remember, you know, sitting down. I was planning it out for like two and a half hours. I just wrote and I wrote and I put my plan together and I had everything structured. And man, I came back and I was going to execute this plan. I was going to be the new me. I was so excited. It was, it was amazing. So my plan was to start using this new information to restructure my life. And I would go on this journey on how to address my body, my diet, my mind, my spirit. You know, I started to study intermittent fasting. I started to study the timing of how we should eat, the foods that we should be eating, how we should be pair, uh, pairing them, um, what the important micronutrients are. Um, I started to meditate and do yoga at home. I started working on uh, high, interval, high intensity interval training, uh, hit routines with my workouts. Um, I actually sat back and I took stock in my life and tried to determine, hey, what's truly important? And you know, what, what is the legacy that I wanna leave behind when I'm gone from this earth? And I started to rediscover my relationship with God that for 30 years I had abandoned that. And it was truly a whole self-discovery plan, but there was still a problem. I soon found out that making all these changes in your life isn't easy. You know, I started having trouble finding time to work out. You know how it is, you start, you start everything, guns are blazing, you're just moving and you know, all of a sudden you start to hit a roadblock and you have trouble with time and you have trouble getting your workouts in. And, and that's what happened to me. I couldn't find the time for it. Uh, my workouts would take too long. I, I didn't know how to structure them properly. Um, I couldn't fit in the meditation. I couldn't fit in the yoga and the HIIT workouts that were just you know not fitting into my busy life. So I did what anyone else would do. I said, well, I just gotta create more time. So <laughs> like that's gonna work. You know, God gave us 24 hours in a day. Um, how do we create more time? You know, um, I once was told that, uh, you know, there's 24 hours in a day. And if you can't fit everything into your day, is that your fault or God's fault? Well, I'm going to tell you, God doesn't make any mistakes. So if you can't fit everything into your life, there's a problem. You have too much. And I, 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 that's my thinking. I just thought, well, I'll just wake up earlier. I'll create more time. And I, I would get up at 4 a.m. and I would start working out and I would start my day. And But then I found out, well, shoot, I got to go to bed at 8 p.m. Well, now I'm missing out on my family time. So now this isn't working, you know, and I'm missing out on that time with my wife and my kids. And I'm, I'm still not being that husband and father that I wanted to be. I struggle with being consistent. 
you know, at several points, I remember just sitting there saying, you know, this ain't worth it. I just want to quit. I just want to quit. I just want to, I'm just going to be fat and happy. You know, I'm just going to be unhealthy because nothing's going to work. And, you know, I, there was this little voice deep down inside and it said, it said, don't quit. It said, don't quit. And it said, that's not going to make you happy. That's not going to fulfill you inside. You've got to keep, you got to keep pushing forward. You've got to, you've got to keep driving forward. You got to find a way to make this work. So no matter what, I decided at that point, I was going to burn my boats. I'm going to burn my boats. I'm going to cut off all other avenues and I'm just going to keep moving forward. So I ended up getting so frustrated that I started to focus on how do I put this together? You know, how can I put this together to fit into my life? You know, how can I create a system? You know, if you ask the right questions, eventually, you know, you start to come to the, to the right answer. And how can I create a system that included everything I needed and would fit into my busy life? So all of a sudden, when I did that, I started to find out, hey, you know what? I don't need to work out for 45 minutes. I, if I have the properly designed high interval intensity training routine, I can get a great workout, burn a lot of calories in as little as 15 minutes. And I can integrate the intermittent fasting without much effort. I also found there are you know, short effective yoga workouts that worked and I found short guided meditations that I could do you know, before I went to bed and first thing when I woke up in the morning. I discovered that there are these biohacks out there that just increase the effectiveness and calorie burning of these HIIT workouts if you do them right. Also, there are certain biohacks with your micronutrients that once you, you get it solved and you get the, the nutrients that your body needs, things within your stomach and your gut settle down, your inflammation settles down. And I learned that, you know, your gut is kind of like your second brain. And those cravings, those cravings aren't because of a lack of self-control. Those cravings are because there's a, there's a problem with your stomach. And once I solved that, I realized that that was gone. As a result, I was able to create a system that gave me complete weight loss, weight management program that was easy to follow. It was healthy, sustainable, and it was most of all, it was fitting into my busy lifestyle. That's when it came to me and I called the program the four week weight loss system for busy moms and dads. So after creating the four week weight loss system for busy moms and dads, I not only found a way to lose the weight and keep it off, but most importantly, I found a way to lower my stress levels. I found a way to be more at peace and to be more present and to be more relaxed with my family and friends. I found a balance between uh, the body, the mind, the spirit, and the diet. This harmony has given me a greater sense of what is truly important in life. And, you know, I no longer am worried about my weight. I'm no longer worried about the feelings of not being enough because I've been able to create that balance that I needed. And in the end, this means that I am going to be, I am the person, the husband, and the father that God has created me to be. Thank you.